Thanks for tuning in. If you like old model trains, please subscribe. Today we're talking a little bit about the uh, Japanese National Railway C62. That's the steam engine here. That's their Hudson. This is their big, fast, large engine to pull passenger service around Japan. Uh, introduced in 1948. This model was made, uh, imported by uh, International, uh, starting in uh, 49 or 50, and serendipitously, they numbered it the C62-2, and they made 49 of these engines, prototypically, and uh, only five survive, and only one runs, and the they chose the right number when they uh, made this model back in 1950. Uh, because this is the surviving engine. Now, International was the importer here. So here's a page from the International Catalog 1950. And you can see here the Hudson. Um, the lines of this were not going to fly in America. So they took off the uh, elephant ears and they just called it a Hudson. Not too many people... Uh, Thought it looked like a Hudson, so sales for that were not very good. Uh, you can see it sold for a whopping 45 bucks, which for the international line, that was a lot of money. Um, the engine itself is uh, halfway decent. Um, it's got full suspension. Now, this is an up upgraded one here. This is what you normally would get for 45 bucks. Again, pretty nice suspension. Um, this is much better than the average international. The average international was this engine here, which has very thin brass chassis, uh, very small gearing, uh, very light. Just, it looks pretty, but yeah, not so much for running. And normally, these were all made for center third rail, which was acceptable over in Japan. Uh, but International was just the importer. You had um, a couple of Japanese companies. Um, the upgraded one here was in, uh, made by KWR. Um, and for a few yen more, they would uh, upscale you quite a bit. So this is really a beautiful engine. Just really, really nice and done for uh, two rail. So um, quite happy to find this piece. Of course, we should be pulling their passenger cars, which unfortunately I don't have. But um, nonetheless, I'm happy to have this example. Um, and it's fun to know that the, uh, the prototype of this is still running over in Japan. Um, International imported a lot of HO pieces, so <clears throat> in their catalog here, uh, normally they offered things in HO and O scale, uh, roughly from <clears throat> 1949 to roughly the mid-50s, um, and by that time, the really good builders went to uh, KTM, and the not-so-good builders went to uh, people like uh, Ken Kidder. So um, there was quite a um, trade-up on the, uh, the quality of the pieces that America demanded for the, uh, the imported engine. So, but uh, these are kind of interesting pieces. Um, International also made um, a Challenger, which was a whopping $200 at the time. Uh, again, you can find examples that look like that. 
and then you can also find ones that were made by master builders that look like this. So uh, international, the quality on a lot of the pieces is uh, very inconsistent depending on who was building it. So um, we'll fire up the, uh, the little uh, engine here and run it. This is actually uh, the Japanese National Railway, our um, narrow gauge, three foot, uh, six inches. So again, this is their example of their speedy Hudson. Thank you. Thank you for watching.